Today we're going to install the JSP shifter relocation kit for the Beams J160 six-speed transmission. You're going to start by removing the rubber boot at the base of the shifter assembly. Underneath you're going to find four M6 10 mm head bolts. You're going to remove each one of those individually. Once all of the bolts are removed, the shifter should remove easily out of the housing. Set the shifter aside and now you can remove the four M8 bolts that hold the shifter stock to the tail shaft of the transmission using a 12 mm socket. Once all the hardware is off, you can peel the dust cover off the bottom of the stock and you should be able to wiggle the shifter stock off of the tail shaft and set it aside. The rubber boot should also slide off backwards and pull off the back of the transmission pretty easily. The next thing that we're going to do is remove the roll pin off of the shifting sleeve on the back of the transmission here. This roll pin holds this shifting sleeve accurately onto the selector shaft and once it's out we're going to set it aside because we're going to reuse it with the JSP kit. The last thing we're going to do is take off this M8 12 mm head bolt and this is the last thing holding the shifter sleeve onto the transmission. Once this is out, set it aside because it's also going to get reused. So what comes in the kit? Top left here is a new CNC machine billet shifter housing. On the top right is a new shifter sleeve and shifting lever that are both zinc plated. Bottom left here are two sets of shifter housing spacers that adjust the height of the housing depending on which transmission you have. If you have this aluminum stock, you'll use the thicker spacers, and if you have this steel stock, you're going to use the thinner spacers, and they're labeled just in case you forget. The first step on assembly is to take this shifter sleeve and slide it onto the back of the transmission. Before you slide it on though, take a rag and clean the surface to make sure that it's really clean. This is a precision fit, but should slide on pretty easily. You're going to align the hole and you're going to reuse the bolt from the original shifter sleeve to align this shaft so that you can press the roll pin in. When I'm working on transmissions that are outside of the car on a table, I like to use something to support the selector shaft while I'm hammering roll pins. In this case, I'm just using a block of aluminum so that when I hammer the roll pin, it doesn't put the shock or the impact directly onto the shaft. Once the roll pin's all the way in, you're just going to go ahead and tighten down that M8 12mm head bolt all the way. The next thing that you're going to install is this shifting lever. It can be mounted in two positions, a forward position and a back position. In this case, we're going to mount it in the forward position using the included stainless steel shoulder bolts. After these bolts are finger tight, I like to check the clearance between the tail shaft and the lever itself to make sure that nothing's aligned incorrectly. After everything looks good, you're going to go ahead and torque down these two bolts to 22 foot-pounds. After those are torqued, you're going to go ahead and take your shifter spacers and mount them onto the tail shaft. Because we had an aluminum stock, we're going to use these thicker spacers. They're a precision fit, so they might require a little bit of pressing to get them in place. Since we're mounting our shifter in the forward position, we're going to take the second longest bolts here and put them in the rearmost holes to attach the spacers onto the tail shaft. So here's what we have so far. We have our shifter sleeve and shifter lever attached onto the selector shaft. We also have our shifter spacers attached to our tail shaft. The next step is going to be to remove this little spring washer out of the old shifter stock. This is going to be reused underneath the shifter assembly inside the new shifter housing. The first step to assemble the new shifter housing is to take the old spring washer after cleaning it and slide it in around the pins of the shifter housing so that it goes all the way to the bottom. Now you can install the old shifter in the same way. Slide the lower bushing around the pins and then rotate the shifter until the grooves on the side align with the pins as well. Once everything lines up correctly, it should slide into place.
To make this easy to assemble onto the transmission, I like to put in one of the included M6 bolts into the top of this shifter assembly. This will hold the shifter into the shifter housing so that you can install it easier. To install the new shifter assembly, you're just going to want to align this lower bushing here into the lever. You're going to slowly bring it down and rotate it so it slides in easily. To secure the housing to the transmission, we're going to use these long included M8 bolts on the front half of the shifter housing. For the middle holes on the housing, we're going to use these short M8 screws that are also included. After these are all finger tight, you're going to go back in and tighten down all six of these M8 screws. Now that the housing is secure, you can go back in and put the remaining M6 bolts that hold this shifter plate onto the top of the shifter housing. Once secure, you can go ahead and slide the dust boot back over and you're just about done. Check the shifter for proper movement. Go through all the gears, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and even back all the way over to reverse to make sure that there's no binding and everything operates as it should. If you have any questions about the JSP Beams J160 Shifter Relocation Kit, please comment below or email us. Our email address is in the description. Thanks for watching.